Well, this is day two of uh, my test of the bucket sluice concentrator. Uh, I have some cons that uh, I brought back from a place called Knights Ferry, California. This is a place, it's a state park, they only allow hands, pans, and trowels as far as uh, digging, digging instruments. And as a result, why everybody has to pan out their material. And uh, we were down there on a meetup. There were about uh, 11 guys all panning. And uh, I had them throw their black sands into a bucket, which I am about to uh, run here and see what we can find by way of gold with the, uh, with the bucket sluice concentrator. Uh, there were some newbie panners in the group, so uh, I'm thinking we probably have a decent amount of gold in, <laughs> in these concentrates. It's just a little small blue bucket, so it should not take too long. I will uh, start running this stuff teaspoon at a time. I slowed the water down just a little bit from my last attempt with this uh, concentrator. And we will see if things are picking up or not. This is mostly black sands. Right? See the black sands running two ripples, so I see some gold showing up down in there. Now it's a little boring to sit here and watch the uh, the sluice run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and move the video camera around to actually watch the riffle action here. So uh, bear with me and I'll move the camera. I got the camera moved so you can see into the riffles a little bit better. I'm going to see if I can zero right in on the uh, first couple of riffles. And hopefully, we're going to get this autofocus to focus in on that. Let's see if I'm coming closer. Mm -hmm. okay. That's about as good as I can do on the riffles. And I'll continue running some of this material and see if we can see some gold show up. that flake of gold on top of the teaspoonful of material there, so I know we're definitely getting gold in here. See a lot of gold right there in the teaspoon. probably going to have to edit this video because this is taking too long for a tiny amount of concentrates. Every once in a while I hear something thunk down in there. I'm sure it's a piece of lead. So, considering these uh, concentrates have already been panned out once Buy some inexperienced panners because I'm seeing a lot of gold. Uh,
I'll be testing this uh, bucket sluice concentrator on some minus 50 and minus 100 materials that I concentrated or classified out the other day. I see a lot of gold starting to show up there in those riffles. I hope you can see it. Uh, I'm going to let this run and clean up as much of those black sands as possible. And we will see exactly how much gold shows up in those riffles. Well, you can see the gold in the riffles here. First riffle, of course, has the most. Second riffle has some. Then running on down, I can see... Yeah, no. I don't see any gold past the uh, past the third riffle. So this little thing obviously works like a charm. Okay, I went ahead and put the camera back on the tripod. And I'll go ahead and do that little cleanup I was talking about. Just lifting the unit almost vertical. And I'll just cycle the pump a couple of times. Low two there. Give it a little shake just to make sure everything is cleaning out. And then do a quick check of the revolts. Not a piece of gold. Alright. We replace the unit on the bucket. Lay it right over the edge. Clip your bungee cords in, and the unit is ready to run again. That was as quick a cleanup as you can do, just about. So I've greatly reduced the uh, amount of black sand. I haven't lost all the black sand. And now I'll go ahead and pan out and we'll take a look at the gold. It's a nice showing of gold considering somebody had already panned it. Yeah, let's just call this the shot, as you can see, and so you can see it. Bring it up close. And that's a very nice showing of gold for a day's panning on Knight's Ferry. Well, actually, this is a residual gold from a day's panning on Knight's Ferry. I apologize for the uh, stuff floating in the water. That is pine pollen. It's everywhere right now. My entire panning tray is full of it. In any case, that's the video for today. We'll get back to you uh, when I try that uh, 50 mesh going through the bucket sluice concentrator.